Hello, Miss O'Dwyer here. I'm going to teach you how to play um, colouring decimats. So um, you should already have your dice ready. If you haven't, um, you've skipped a step. So go back and um, either watch the other video or make your own dice or find some. So you should have a six-sided die. You can also have a 10-sided die if you want, but not essential. And you should have your other die, which has um, one side with one tenth on it, three sides with one one thousandth, and um, two sides with one one hundredth. So you'll need those to play the game. And you'll also need your um, decimats sheet, um, which I'm going to show you on the screen. So that's this one. Uh, oh, hang on, let me make me smaller. There we go, look at my tech skills. Um, so you should have a sheet that looks a bit like this. I've split it in half and put it side by side just so we can see it all on the screen at once. But yours will be one under the other. If you don't have a printer, um, you can draw this up. So you can draw this grid um, just on a piece of paper um, and then you can just rule up some basic columns. So um, don't let not having a printer stop you from playing this game. So you can definitely do it. Um, let me show you how these decimats work. So that grid on the screen there, that one, that's called a decimat. So it's like a mat that you can colour in. So I'm going to show you how they work and what it's all about. All right, so colour me decimals or colour me decimats. We're learning to recognise that the place value system can be extended to tenths, hundredths, thousandths um, using a decimat to help us. So the whole big grid, the big square, is worth one unit. Um, and where decimals are all numbers, um, breaking numbers into less than one. So if you imagine a number line from zero to 10, and then just look at the bit between zero and one, our decimals in this game are all the numbers between zero and one. So they're less than one, more than zero, but less than one. So the whole grid is worth one. So think about like one whole paddock that we're gonna chop up or one piece of cake that we're gonna, one big cake that we're gonna chop into pieces. Um, so if we broke it into 10 parts, have a think about the fractions that we've done before. If we break it into 10 parts, um, which you can see on the screen there, and we're just talking about one of those parts, what would that be worth? So if we're looking at fractions, it's worth one tenth. So it's a tenth of the whole one. The whole thing's broken into 10 parts, so that's the number at the bottom of the fraction, and we've coloured in one of those 10 parts. Now, one of those tenths, we can then break into 10 more parts. So they're smaller, you can see those there. And one of those parts, it's less than a tenth because remember one of those big ones is a tenth. So one of those smaller pieces is a one hundredth. So if you imagine we chopped up that whole grid, the whole thing into these size pieces that 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, if we add them all up, there would be 100 of them. So that's the 100 at the bottom of the fraction and we've coloured in one of them, so that's one one hundredth. Then if we were to break one of those smaller pieces into 10 smaller pieces again, um, what would one of those be worth? And that would be worth one one thousandth, because if we chopped the whole grid into pieces that small, so there'd be 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, 10 there, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, there'd be 100 of them there, and then another 100, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So that's one one thousandth of that whole. All right. So another way of saying one tenth. Now we're looking at how fractions and decimals go together or relate to each other. So that's one tenth. But if we were to talk about that in decimals, we'd call it 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Um, so if one of those is 0 0.1, what would five of them be? That would be 0.5. So there's one, two, three, four, five tenths. So that's 0.5. Notice that's not one yet. There's not a one there in the ones place yet. It's less than one. Yay. All right, if we were to write two one hundredths. So remember one of these larger pieces is a tenth and then one of these is one one hundredth because there would be 100 of them if the whole thing was chopped up into pieces that size. So two of those would be 0.02. It can't be 0.2 because remember when we had one tenth before, the one was there, 0.1, but 
but these bits are smaller. So one of these is worth 0.1. One of these is less than that, so it's 0 0.02. So there's there's not a whole tenth coloured in, so we've got a zero there because there's no whole tenths. Um, but there are two one hundredths. All right, um, seven one thousandths. So we're going to do this on the decimat. Let's give that a go. So we'll come back to here. Um, so we've got our colouring activity sheet. So we're looking at seven one thousandths, uh, seven one thousandths. So you can use this thing here to help you figure this out. Um, there's only one of them there, so you might want to do it in grey letter or write it somewhere else. So we've got seven one thousandths. So I'm going to, um, I've got my brush there. I'm going to put a seven there. Ooh, I'm drawing lines. Let me get rid of that brush. So. I've got seven one thousandths. Now that's all I've got. So I'm going to put a zero in all the other spots because I've got, I've rolled nothing in those spots. Um, so seven one thousandths. So if it was tenths, it would be one of those big boxes. If it was hundredths, it would be that next size down. And if it's thousandths, it's these little guys. So I'm going to color in seven of those. You can color them in much neater than I'm doing. Uh, five six seven all right so i've colored in seven of those so that's um seven thousandths all right so that's the different size pieces let's get rid of those and we'll show you how to actually play the game all right so i roll my dice so i roll my two dice and we'll see what we've got so i've got three um and one thousandths so three times one one thousandth which would be three one thousandths now um i'm going to write that down in my table so i got um actually i might type that in so that you can see it a bit clearer okay so i rolled three one thousandths so that's my fraction um now you can fill in the rest of that table straight away or you can colour it in first. Sometimes colouring it in helps you to figure out what it, what the uh, decimal will be. So I've got three one thousandths. I'm going to come back and put it in here so that I can figure this out. So it was one thousandth. So I'm going to put a three here. And then that would mean there's a zero everywhere else. All right. So I know that tenths is one of those big boxes. Hundredths is one of those slightly smaller boxes. And then thousandths are those tiny ones. So I'm going to colour in three of those all right and that's my first um go at the game now i need to finish this box over here so let's see if i can add in there um so my decimal i've got that down here i can just copy from there so i got 0 0.003 and then over here in the third column is how much is shaded in all together so this is where I'm going to keep a running total throughout this whole game. So, so far, that's all I've got, 0 0.003. Now, if I'm playing against somebody else, they would have a go and they'd be using their own sheet. So you might want to play against a parent if they're available or a sibling if they're available. Um, if they're not, you can play just on your own, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these ones down here. Ooh, ooh, it rubs out everything. Those ones. I'm going to have my next turn. All right, so I imagine my other players had their turn and now I'm going to have my turn. So I'm going to do it in green this time. I'll just make sure that that, yeah, it does. Cool. All right, so I'm going to roll the dice again. My dice. My next turn, I got three and one tenth. Uh, one tenth. So three tenths. All right. So three tenths. I'm going to write it in my um, box over here first. Let me just move that down a smidge. So I've got three tenths. Okay, if I was to write that over here, I've got three tenths. So I can just put a zero in all the other spots. And that's going to help me figure out how to fill this in. So three tenths. So that's the bigger boxes. So, oh, that's quite a lot. So I can colour in one two three tenths 
Okay, now I'm going to write it in the decimal box. So I've got my decimal down here. So it's just 0 0.3. All right, 0 0.3. And now I'm going to add 0 0.3 to 0 0.003. All right, so that would be 0. Point, so there's a 3 in the tenth spot. There's still no hundredths, but there are 3 thousandths. So my running total is 0 0.303. All right, so next go. Now I can get rid of those bits. Now you won't want to keep rubbing out on your own sheet. You might want to just have a little scrap piece of paper to do this figuring out bit. There you go. Um, so then I'd roll the dice again. I'll just do one more turn to show you um, and then we'll end. So um, this time I have rolled, actually we might make it 100 so you can see, I rolled five times one one hundredth, so that's five one hundredths. All right, so um, let's write that in and I'll make it blue this time. I'm doing a different colour each time so I can tell which coloured in bit matches the bit on the list. So I've got five hundredths, so I'm going to put the five in the hundredths column so I can figure out how this is going to work. I can just put a zero in all the other places. All right, so the tenths are the big ones. I haven't got any of those. The hundredths are the next size down. I've got five of those. So I can colour in five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I can come across and write it in my column here. So I had five one hundredths. That's what was on the dice. Um, the decimal, so if we look down here, it's 0 0.05, so that's 0 0.05, and then the running total. All right, so I've got, um, I've got to add five hundredths. At the moment in my running total, there's nothing in the hundredths column, so this is actually pretty easy. I've got 0 point, I've still got three tenths, I now have five hundredths, and um, I've still got that three um, thousandths. So my running total is 0 0.353. And we never say 353. Um, if it's after the decimal point, you say each um, digit on its own, 0 0.353. So then you keep going until you've filled it. Um, as you get to a point where, like, maybe you roll, if I rolled, for instance, um, seven tenths at the moment i've only got one two three four five six tenths left that because there's not a tenth there so then i just have to roll again okay so if you don't have enough space to fill it in you just roll again and you keep going till you've filled it um if you're playing against someone else the idea is that the person who fills their decimat first is the winner um, and you're getting lots of skills here you're practicing your fractions and understanding the difference between tenths hundredths and thousands you're also practicing that with your decimals and then you're also adding decimals. So we're ticking a lot of boxes here. Um, so that is pretty much it. Have fun with that. I'll just put my face up nice and big carefully. Have fun with that game. Um, if you have any issues, please contact us. Send us a message on Google Classroom or you can send an email through that um, platform as well. Um, have fun. You can play this game over and over again. Um, you can play it every day if you want for a week. Um, enjoy and see you soon.